Okay, that's good. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe talk about now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now <coughs> we'll start. Working, yeah, everything's working. Okay, now <laughs> we'll start now. So, usually, as I said just a few minutes ago, uh, it takes only 20 minutes or something like that. So today we are doing really very authentic way and uh, doing it uh, elaborately. So, <coughs> so, so now one question. Am I qualified to do this? So, <laughs> so uh, it has to at least when you do the ritual, teacher has to do uh, done uh, like at least one hundred thousand yamentaka or chakra sambara or guru samaja or at least wajiyugini hundred thousand retreat uh, retreat with hundred thousand mantras. And also Lama Tsongkhapa's uh, mantra, 100,000. So that's the very least. So, so I have done a uh, Yamantaka retreat with uh, one million mantra. So not too bad. And Guru Samaja, uh, 400,000, which is, Guru Samaja is tough to really do. Not too many uh, Lamas, actually Gishis have finished that. That's a little difficult, hard. Only the sadhana will take you take two hours to finish. Mm -hmm. Do the long sadhana. And, uh, and of course Tara, 400,000, retreat with 400,000 mantras. And the Lama Tsongkhapa mantra, of course, 100,000. Vajasat, 100,000. So Vajayugini, 100,000. So I've done pretty, quite, quite a bit. Uh, uh, retreat and uh, mantra recitation. Not only that, uh, especially lately, now two years ago, almost two years ago now, I've been doing Guru Samaj every day, one session, and with m meditation, not just reciting, really meditation, authentic meditation. So, so I'm, I think I'm Okay, not too bad. <laughs> the another question is uh, uh, whether this will help or not, right? Is this a just kind of a uh, just I, I don't know, just uh, they call it mambo jambo or something <laughs> it's strange, uh, or is is it just uh, like uh, what do you call? Possible thing, but no, actually, it, it's very helpful. Actually, just recently, uh, maybe I'll tell you a couple of uh, incidents. Uh, recently, um, a kid, a tiny infant, he was suffering from eczema. He's all over, eczema all over his body. And uh, so the doctor gave him, gave the mother like 15, at least 15 different medicines. Couldn't help, couldn't help. So the child was a very nice little kid, but he, could, he was so nice, he never cries. But when he had this eczema, he's, he's crying all the time. And at the night he's crying, crying all, all night. So, Parents was really devastated, and uh, <coughs> so 
they don't know what to do. Now the, the medicine are not working. A doctor said, <laughs> what can I do now? I give you all the medicine. So then uh, one of my students called, students called Pema, a young woman. She said, oh, maybe try Genla, you know, maybe just go and ask Genla to bless uh, that little boy. Maybe he can help you. So then, of course, there's nothing to lose. <laughs> so they, they came. Actually, Dex saw that little boy, right? Yeah. yeah. Dex and Katina were there, so they, they have seen this little child. <coughs> Tiny. So then I did uh, chapter two, cleansing and uh, wiping the ritual, and meditated and blessed the child, and did some cargo. And I gave <coughs> water, I blessed the water, and also I gave, they have some kind of cream. So I blessed the cream, blowing mantra on that. Mm -hmm and mainly the uh, cleansing and wiping of chapter ritual. V very, sort of very short, short one. And then after two weeks later, it has improved tremendously. Now after a month or two late, later, I said, it's completely gone. So I think it, it is working, it is working. It definitely works. And, uh, and also there was one incident, uh, there was a Chinese couple. They were trying to conceive a child, seven years. And then doctor, they went to doctor and you know, consulted the doc consult doctor and they said, no, you can't ha have child. Doctor said to them, a Chinese couple called uh, Aaron and Miao. So then uh, they were so really sad, you know. They came, one of my, another Chinese uh, student, he said, maybe he can help you. <laughs> Come and see, see Kishila. So then they, uh, uh, we met and then uh, I did again chapter two. And I asked them to not eat pork and uh, uh, especially pox is very, it, it impures your body, mm -hmm. not good for the body, and, and relax and try to become a little peaceful, you know, in, in your mind. Don't worry too much. And then uh, after two weeks later, again, she was, she, can, she was able to, I mean, she was pregnant. So, <laughs> so I think they tried seven years, actually seven, seven years. So, wife was 37 years old and maybe husband uh, 38. Seven years they tried. When they were 30, they tried. Never happened. So after two weeks later, it conceived. So there is something in the ritual. It's not because of me, but it's because of the ritual itself. Lama Tsongkhapa, the, the, the blessings and the power of Lama Tsongkhapa. And um, so I think the, and there are other, other stories just recently I did. But also the Lamas, they don't like to do this. Uh, so I won't be doing this in the future. Uh, most likely not, because this has a negative effect on the teacher, on who's doing. So it's not like a <laughs> very pleasant, because when you cleanse, when you cleanse the, uh, this tip called tip impurity, and it goes all, all in that, uh, it, it's been cleansed and with the water, blessed water. So then you get effect, you get effect, actually. So lamas is really, they are not too happy to do that. But why? Because, you, you know, it's like, you know, all the, this impurity is coming, right? Going there, it affects somehow, it affects you. But you are literally bringing it into yourself? No, no, not, now, not like that. Somehow, if you go in a dirty place, you get, get influ like a, uh, uh, affected, right? Similar. So, so where, a way to protect yourself? Uh, what I do is, uh, of course, if you do a lot of uh, uh, healing and uh, meditation, is, it helps a little bit, but still it affects like uh, one time I did just one person, I got called. I got called. And two days ago, I did it for uh, 
a very sick person. And, uh, and I did all the family all together, seven of them. <laughs> the next day, my eyes were swollen, really. And eyes were irritated. Would, would, so, that, would that be the case for anyone doing healing? Uh, I don't know, but this is uh, definitely because you are cleansing, literally. If you see, you can probably you be able to see. It. <laughs> but I don't know. I can't see, right? But it is doing something. So, 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 uh, this is not a totally pleasant <laughs> for the, to be, but I, what I do is, next day I meditate and then I cleanse myself, I heal myself, I, my eyes are better uh, today. It was done on si Friday, Saturday my eyes are all irritated and, but uh, not always happens, but sometimes happen, happened to me twice. So, no, I couldn't get cold almost there. But I, I didn't get called. So it's, it's possible one can get. So, so lamas are not too happy to do that. Because it, so, but I thought we have, uh, uh, you know, people with uh, illnesses. And maybe I thought I can really tiny bit help, mm -hmm. you know. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And, uh, and usually I don't do this. I don't do. I don't do this because uh, uh, usually I, I'm not a healer or a anything like that. I'm just simple meditator or teacher, that's all. But this, I thought maybe it will help. It will help. And, and again, oh yeah, then what will uh, we do the next is, uh, so we will recite this Lama Tsongkhapa, Gandhil Hajama, uh, what do you call that? Hundred deities of of the Tushita, and then we recite that, and then we recite Mixema. You can recite that in English too. What you are saying is, Lama Tsongkhapa, you are you are Avalokiteshvara, right? You are Avalokiteshvara, who is so compassionate. You are uh, nature of wisdom. You are Manjushri. In reality, yes, Lama Tsongkhapa is, uh, is, is emanation of all those deities. And you are the uh, uh, powerful uh, Vajapani. So you are all of these three, three uh, deities. So when you supplicate that way, what you do is you get all the energy, all the blessings from those three deities along with the Lama Tsongkhapa. So Lama Tsongkhapa is real in real life. He is uh, uh, he is Manjushiri, in essence, he is Vajapani. So then, now you get all the power and uh, uh, blessings of these three deities when you supplicate Lama Tsongkhapa, right? So it's very powerful. So through supplicating Lama Tsongkhapa, you be, uh, because of the blessings of the Avalokiteshvara, you become very kind and compassionate, which is so itself is healing, mm. right? And then you get your mind will become brighter, more, or you know, strong. I um, mean, the intelligence will I improved, improve, and and then you will have powerful power to really help others and help yourself. So by Vajapani, you know. So so, so when you say Mixima, you're just supplicating Lama Tsongkhapa. Or, you know, like, you are Avalokiteshvara, you are Manjushiri, you are Vajapani, and you are the crown of the, all the scholars of Tibet. That's what they say, right? So I supplicate you, please bless me, bless me, bless me, bless me. That's what you are saying. You will be saying. And then, I won't give you very uh, elaborate meditation, just simple meditation with the Lama Tsongkhapa while you are reciting a uh, uh, mantra, you can imagine Om, white Om. Uh, do you have a pen? Yeah. Any, anybody has a pen? I may have here some. I think I have here <coughs> Excuse me, thank you. you need paper? No, I have paper, yeah. So, like, uh, I'll write that in English, if you prefer Om, 
handwriting is not good. R really Blank. crappy handwriting. Yeah. So on. Did you see it? Okay. On. So can you picture it written rather than the Tibetan symbol? You can actually picture it written in English? English, okay. You can in English. Om um, and... Ah... Uh, uh, home. Or if you uh, prefer Tibetan... Om... Um, Ah. Uh, okay, let's first uh, try Tibetan. Om, um, right? And then this is ah. Uh, om um, ah. Uh, and then this is hum. So om um goes here, right? This is this om um represents. Uh, the Buddha Verochana, body, body, Buddha's body, and A, uh, Buddha's speech, which is Amitabha, and this whom, uh, uh, Akshobhaya, right, uh, or, or Vaj Vajadara, you could say. So this heart, so body, speech, and mind, mm -hmm. or Buddha's body, uh, speech, are uh, here, and whom. So you have to imagine. Om Ahu at Lama Tsongkhapa's mm, head and inside, not outside like this. <laughs> inside, inside the Lama Tsongkhapa's head, you imagine Om, this letter, white one, and A, red A, mm -hmm. and then Hum, blue Hum, blue Hum. Mm. Are they the size? Like the uh, size, a little smaller and smaller, right? Sesame yeah. Side? No, no, no. Uh, this in this case, it's just uh, you know, like uh, like this big, right? So you can sort of you know have better uh, have the imagination for your appropriate one. You know, doesn't matter if you could small, okay, big, okay. But inside the head, forehead, right? Yeah. Om ah uh, red ah uh, om white om red ah uh, and hum inside heart here. Uh, Hum, blue hum, right? Oma. And if you like English, you can om a hum, right? So then now you imagine om a hum at your three three places. And then while you are saying mantra, mantra, light comes, white light, om. White light comes from Lama Tsongkhapa's uh, om head and strikes your om. Mm. And then all your impurity or negative karma of your body, created through body, is removed or eliminated. Mm. And healed your body, heal. heal just, light just goes all over your body and heal, start healing. And then, see, the negative karma is the cause of our problem. So when you destroy, eliminate the negative karma, y you are actually healing yourself. Because the cause is the negative karma, not just external uh, conditions. So that's it. And then A, ah, so A, ah, red A, ah, red light comes and strikes here, your A. Ah, and then purifies all of your negative karma created through your speech. You know, harsh words and lying and so on, abusing other people or so on. And not necessarily in this life, but previous life. So eliminates. And then, you know, light strikes. And then this red light, you know, fills with, uh, your body is filled with white light, uh, red light. First one, white light fills by your body with li a white light and heal, start healing. You can feel the healing. And red light, same thing. Negative karma, eliminate it, and then now start healing. All your body filled with red light. And same whom, whom, supplicating. Uh -huh. And what was the deity? 
There's uh, Amitabha. Yeah, but you don't have to imagine Amitabha. Just, you know, just Om Ah uh, If you could, of course, it's better. You know, uh, like that. And then uh, Hum. Blue, blue light comes from Hum. Strikes your heart at the blue, uh, Hum at blue, uh, heart. <coughs> and then it purifies all the negative karmas collected through uh, mind, your mind. And then start, uh, the, your body is filled with the blue light. Blue light. And then you, healing starts. And supplicate, love on God. Supplicate, supplicate, supplicate. Even if you don't have any problem, it will prevent future problem. If your problem, if you have problem right now, it will heal, heal, start healing. See, see, all the healing, not just uh, <laughs> healing is dependent on me or other teacher or other healer. In your hand, it's healing is in your hand, in your hand, like that. So, so you will be reciting and meditating on that one. And then I will be meditating on Guru Samaja. Sadhana, and then later uh, uh, recitation, mantra recitation. While I'm doing this m meditation, in the, in the middle of my meditation, somewhere at the middle, maybe a little bit end of the meditation, and I will be sending lights, healing lights to you. Healing lights to you. And not only you, all over, whoever is sick, ill, physically, mentally, emotionally, you know, psychologically. So I'm saying I will be sending. I will be in the form of Guru Samaja. Although I have I don't have any power, but Guru Samaja I'm I will be uh, arisen in the form of Guru Samaja. So there is power because of that. So I will be sending those lights all to you particularly and then all direction. All even including insects, everybody, especially who are sick and desperate, like that. So the meditation will be quite long. So if you, are, if you need to go to the washroom, you can go quietly and do three prostrations before you go. And then when you come, wash your hands very nicely. And when you come back, three, two, three prostrations, you quietly sit and we won't be speaking. <laughs> Yeah, okay, and, there, and that's, and then now uh, the real healing. Now I have to talk about that a little bit. You want another, another bucket? I'm just wondering if we can turn off the water, the, the water pump. pump. Yes, yes. Uh, pull the plug. Just pull the plug in the wall. Mm -hmm. Just to the right. Good idea, thanks. Yeah, really it's it's to the right? To the right. Yeah. <coughs> Thank you, I thought it was too nice. Yeah. Okay. And, and this is my usual, so it, when, if this alarm goes off, that means one hour. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have, a, I have a, the time here too. Okay, okay, good. And so you can relax, right? Yes. We don't be hurry because we healing is very important because we need to be healthy in order to be successful or happy. So just relax. Can we send someone that ambulance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. send. Yeah. <laughs> we will be praying for whoever is in trouble. Okay. Okay. So then now. <coughs> This is very, very important. Very important. Mm. I think this is the best way to heal ourselves. Best way. So that there, is a, there is a secret about how to heal ourselves. Let's say we all go through emotional, you know, emotional problem, physical problem, mental problem, financial problem, you know, losing loved ones, the problem of losing loved ones, all this. 
Sometimes we become so desperate, so desperate, so hopeless, so sad, so down, really, so sad. We can't do anything. We are just like a free, frozen, right? And we become, wherever we see is darkness, no hope. So that's very dangerous. Sometimes the, it can happen to us. And w once in a while, it happened to everybody. Happens to everybody and happened to everybody. It happened to me and it happened to you and so like that. So let's say you lost your son or your daughter or your father or mother or your loved ones untimely. That's also very painful, right? And it's so devastating. Devastating. And let's say you have some kind of really deadly disease. And then we feel so bad, we feel so sad, and re really we, we make the condition even worse by worrying, by becoming more sad, right, sad, sad. It's just going down and down and down. And not only that, emotional problem, psychological problem is, I think, is really, really scary. We all have gone through that, and we will be going through that. So anyway, so when we have this hopeless, hopelessness, feeling of this hopelessness, and devastating, we can't, every door is closed. Even your loved ones, you know, or friends are turning their backs. So we become so, now, so desperate, so sad. So then if you are sick, you most likely we will die sooner because of the sadness and we are not thinking positively. So now what we have to do, this is my own experience. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we have to do when we are desperate, when you're so, there's no other, we can't see any other possibilities or, or, or any other doors. It's all closed. So what we do? We're crying, sad, so sad, deep, deep. And then instead of kind of a whining. We, we, do, we, we tend to whine a lot, actually. It, it's just understandable. It's really hard to really take the suffering. So instead of really kind of dragging you down, dragging ourselves down, we think, we think about others. Same situation, people who are in same situation. And not that one, no one, not one person. There are millions of people who are going through the same situation. Same sadness, same desperation. So then you, you focus, before your focus is only here. Oh, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm desperate, I'm so poor. Now your focus is away. Thinking others, you know, all the other people. How sad it is. So, there are so millions of people who are going through the same exact suffering. Same exact suffering. So then you feel sorry for them. Because this suffering, your suffering is so raw. It's so raw. You can, you, you will easily, you can easily uh, generate this empathy for others. When you generate this empathy, clock will tick. Your healing will start right there. Before, you're dragging down, you're falling down, free fall, going down, then at one point you'll, you'll land on the ground. Now, after thinking about others, immediately in your heart, you will feel the change. You'll feel the power. Before you are hopeless, we are hopeless, we are powerless. Now, when we are thinking about others and feeling sorry for others, Oh, sorry, I feel so sorry for you. I understand your suffering. May my suffering, may my suffering take the place of your suffering. When you think that, you become so powerful. You become so powerful. Anyway, you are going through this suffering. Now you are taking others' suffering. Before, we are whining. Now we are hero. 
See, immediately you become hero. And then the healing start. Before you are falling down, now you are going back again, flying. So like that, it's just so powerful. It's my experience, my own experience. When I'm emotionally devastated, going down, then I think about others. Because this, this sadness is so raw, then you feel sorry for others easily. Empathy, create empathy. And you can even cry that tears are toxic coming out. That's good. Then you can cry. You can feel sorry. And immediately your healing will start. Your healing will start. Before you are so down, now you are emotionally stronger. Physically you can feel the energy. And then and then you, you just send this good heart, good energy, you know, and, and then say in the words, or you can meditate, saying, may my suffering take the place of these people. So they, didn't, they never have to go through their suffering. So now your suffering is serving some very important purpose. So this is one way to heal. This is the, I think, the best way to heal. One can immediately heal oneself. You can feel the energy. Instead of, oh, I'm suffering, I'm suffering. I'm suffering. Now your focus is to others. Oh, they are suffering. They are, they are not one, they are millions. So more, there are more. So my suffering is now serving a purpose. So you feel so rejoiced and so happy and then your energy, energy will start healing. Healing energy will come. You will physically feel happier, stronger. See how powerful. This is the real, real healing. That's a trick. That's the trick of healing. Then, if you, if you, if you do this, then there's another way. So now you went, you're going through so much pain, thinking, oh, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Now this negative karma, I will never have to go through this negative karma again. It's like I'm, I'm uh, uh, paying off my debts. My debt will be cleared. So I will never have to go through this again. This karma is gone. So happy. If you pay your debts, if you have a huge debt and you are buried under that debt, and if you were able to pay that, won't you be <laughs> happy? Same thing. Same thing. Think that way. So then, this uh, this uh, this <coughs> illness or sickness will not crush you. Instead, this will become the source of happiness, source of healing. Before, it was source of destruction. It will destroy you. Now, instead of destroying you, it's healing you. See how powerful it is. This was the real thing I want to tell people. Because you can heal yourself. You can heal. Immediately heal. And then, there's another thing. Sometimes what I do is, I tell my own experience. Although I don't have much experience, but it I can feel people can relate. It resonates with people. People. Because they, they can understand, oh yeah, he's gone through. He's not like, you, you know, who has no problem. You know? He has gone through that problem. Same as us. So it really brings a little closer. Right. So I'll tell you, when I disrobed, I went through so much pain and suffering, so much. Devastated. Devastated. So much, so much pain, so much suffering. Then, what I did, I did all these things, helping. And there's one thing, one more thing you can do, which is supplicating your teacher, the guru. So powerful, healing. That's the one, also one of the best uh, healing, if you meditate on. If you supplicate your teacher, that's the best method to heal yourself. So when I was desperate, no friends, 
no family, nothing, nothing, no money, desperate, right, alone, s s very sad, sorry for yourself, so bad, right? But then you supplicate your guru, in my case, His Holiness Dalai Lama, and all my teachers, supplicate, 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 crying, I cried, supplicate, supplicate. And then, not too long ago, after maybe, I don't know, one year or several months, maybe one year or two years later, then I met with His Holiness Dalai Lama because of this strong supplication. And sometimes I, I supplicate even in the dream, you know, like. Mm -hmm. So then that supplication also helped us so much. Then I was able to see His Holiness in real life. And then just after that, Everything healed. Everything completely healed. And I became successful. Not, I'm ta not talking about money <laughs> in terms of Dharma, right? Dharma practice, my own practice, helping others, writing, oh, and everything just so wonderful. No, no sadness, no, nothing, you know, like that. So supplicating, Guru, when you are desperate, you, when you, there's no way, then everything is closed, supplicate your teacher. Guru. A guru, not necessarily sitting on the high throne, your teacher, you know, supplicate, that all the blessings come through your teacher. The, uh, uh, the Buddha's teach, all the Buddha's blessing comes through your teacher, ordinary teacher. And not to mention like teacher like his own is Dalai Lama. Right? Even the ordinary teacher, you supplicate, you get the blessing of Buddha. If you think, oh, he's ordinary, you know, nothing, same as us, then maybe you won't get it. So like that. So anyway, so these are the really, the key for healing yourself. See, now the, you can use this everywhere, anytime. When you are in trouble, use those three things, right? One is called Tonglen, similar, right? Tong is called Tonglen, Tonglen. Second, what was the second? Remember? <laughs> oh, removing karma and you know think that way that uh, that you you you, you have pay off your debts and like that. And third one, guru, guru devotion, supplicate, supplicate. And guru will always come in, even in your dream. They will come, bless you, right? So those three things, very simple, not very complicated. But you can do it, and you, any time you have problem, do those three things. Immediately ease your suffering. Even if you're dying, you supplicate, supplicate, supplicate. Buddha, Lama Tsongkhapa, your teacher, it will ease you. And all the, you know, if you're a good practitioner, it will help a lot to see the, all this, you know, clear light clearly and made it on clear light and so on. Okay, so that, I think that's, uh, that's uh, I don't want to go very detail. And so in the future, uh, we will talk about that in, when, I, when I will be uh, teaching um, uh, Lojong, then it will come a lot. So I think that's uh, all about it. And then, uh, okay, so now, I will start uh, mm, the Guru Samaja, uh, uh, this sadhana, meditating. And uh, so you can, well, let's first, yeah, together say the uh, Gandhela Jama, recite Gandhela Jama. So we start with the Refuge in the Measurables. For the actual practice, page seven. Yeah. Page seven? Uh, that's the actual practice, but before that, there's refuge in the four measurables. Okay. So, yeah. page, page three? Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, on page three, mm -hmm. I take refuge in Talim and Lighten, in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly by my merits of generosity and so forth. 
May I become a Buddha to benefit transmigratory beings. I take refuge until I'm enlightened in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly, by my merits of generosity and so forth. May I become a Buddha to benefit transmigratory beings. I take refuge in the Lord, Lord, in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly, by my merits of generosity and so forth. May I become a Buddha to benefit transmigratory beings. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were to abide in equanimity, free from the closeness of attachment to the distance of hatred. May they abide in equanimity. I myself will cause them to abide in equanimity. Please, Guru Deity, bless me to be able to do this. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were to achieve Buddhahood. May they achieve Buddhahood. I myself will cause them to achieve Buddhahood. Please, Guru Deity, bless me to be able to do this. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they be free of suffering and the causes. I myself will cause them to be free from suffering and the causes. Please, Guru Deity, bless me to be able to do this. How wonderful it would be if all sentient beings were never separated from the happiness of higher rebirth and liberation. May they, they never be separated from these. I myself will cause them never to be separated, separated from, from these. Please, Guru Deity, bless me to be able to do this. <coughs> For the sake of all mother sentient beings, I shall quickly, quickly, in this very life, actualize the states of the primordial Buddha Guru Deity. I shall free all mother sentient beings from suffering and lead them to the great bliss of Buddhahood. Therefore, I shall, I shall practice, practice the profound path of Guru Deity Yoga. For the sake of all mother sentient beings, I shall quickly, quickly, in this very life, actualize the state of the primordial Buddha Guru Deity. I shall free all mother sentient beings from suffering and lead them to the great bliss of Buddhahood. Therefore, I shall practice the profound path of Guru Deity Yoga. For the sake of all mother sentient beings, I shall quickly, quickly, in this very life, actualize the state of the primordial Buddha Guru Deity. I shall free all mother sentient beings from suffering and lead them to the great bliss of Buddhahood. Therefore, I shall practice the profound path of Guru Deity Yoga. Everywhere may the ground be pure, free of pebbles and so forth, as level as the palm of the hand, in the nature of sapphire and soft. From the heart of the Savior of the hundred deities of Kushita, on the peak of a cloud resembling a clump of extremely white fresh herd, King of Dharma, Omniscient Losalan Prabhupada, please come here together with your sons. In the sky before me, on a lion throne, lotus and moon, my perfect pure guru smiles with delight. Supreme field of merit for my mind of faith, please abide for a hundred eons to spread the teaching. Your holy mind has the intelligence that understands the full extent of objects to be known. Your holy speech, with its excellent explanation, is an ear ornament of those of good fortune. Your holy body is radiantly beautiful with glory and renown. To you who are meaningful to see, hear, and remember, I prostrate. Pleasing drinking water, various flowers, fragrant incenses, lamps, scented waters, and so forth. Oceans of cloud-like offerings, both actually arranged and mentally emanated, I offer to you the supreme field of merit. Whatever non-virtues of body, speech, and mind, especially those opposite to the three vows that I have collected from beginningless time, I confess each and every one with fervent regret for my heart. You strove for much learning and practice in this degenerate age, and may your freedoms and richnesses meaningful by abandoning the eight worldly concerns, 
Savior, we sincerely rejoice in your extensive deeds. Perfect, pure, holy gurus, from the bosom of clouds of wisdom and compassion in the sky of Dharmakaya, please let fall a rain of profound and extensive dharma upon the receptacle of those peaceful to do, exactly as they may be. May whatever virtue I have collected benefit the teachings of all transmigratory beings, and in particular may it cause the essence of perfect pure lotus and tapas to shine forever. This ground anointed with perfume, strewn with flowers, adorned with Mount Meru and the four continents, the sun and the moon, I imagine this as a Buddha land and a home. May all, all transmigratory beings enjoy this pure land. May we meet the teachings of the victorious one, Lord Sandrapa, who had the morality of an eminently pure way of life, who was courageous in the extensive conduct of the sons of the victorious ones, and accomplished the yoga of the two stages, spin, Idam Guru Ratam Nandalagam Niryatayami By the force of having fervently requested in this way, hollow beams of white light are emitted from the hearts of the perfect pure Father and Sons, and combining into one, enter my crown. White nectar, the color of milk, flows from the opening of the tube of white light. Cleansing all my sickness, spirit harms, negative karmas, obscurations, and their imprints without exception, my body becomes as pure and clear as crystal. Vajra Dara, Lord of Sages, source of all realizations, Avalokiteshvara, Shara, great treasure of non objectifying compassion, Mandishri, Master of Stainless Wisdom. Lord of secrets, destroyer of the entire host of Mara, those on Trapa come under the stages of the land of soul. To you, Guru Buddha, embodying the three refuges, I make request respectfully with my three doors. Please bless me and others to be ripened and liberated. Please bestow the supreme and common realizations. Please bless me to quickly become like you. Vajradhara, Lord of Sages, Source of all Realizations, Avalokiteshvara, Great Treasure of Non-Objectifying Compassion, Manjushri, Master of Sameless Wisdom, Lord of Secrets, Destroyer of the entire host of Maras, Lozanam Brahma, Crown Ornament of the Sages of the Land of Snow, to you, Guru Buddha, embodying the Three Refuges, I make requests respectfully with my three doors, Please bless me and others to be ripened and liberated. Please bestow the supreme and common realizations. Please bless me to quickly become like you. Third time. Vajradhara, Lord of the Sages, source of all realizations. Avalokiteshvara, great treasure of non-objectifying compassion. Manjushri, Master of Stainless Wisdom, Lord of Secrets, Destroyer of the entire host of Mara. Lozan Rapa, crown ornament of the stages of the land of snow. To you, Guru Buddha, embodying the three refuges, I make requests respectfully with my three doors. Please bless me and others to be ripened and liberated. Please restore the supreme and common realizations. Please bless me to quickly become like you. So now we. Meditate on Nitema and the visualization Geshe recommended. Mm, yeah. Okay, good. And uh, now you can decide that. Either in Tibetan or English, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And I will be doing the uh, meditation on sadhana. Mm -hmm. So, so silently? Sorry? Silently? Okay. Silently? Yeah, you si si uh, yeah, silently. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the five line on the, the right. Five line, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. on page 13. Yeah, middle of page 13. <coughs>
Sì, non è un'altra cosa. 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 S